Here are a couple of ways of multiplying small decimals using the partitioning method. So here we've got 6 times 4.3. What I can do is multiply 4.3 by 10 to make it a whole number. And then when I get my answer, I can divide it. So uh, if I multiply 4.3 by 10, that gives me 6 times 43. And I can follow a simple partitioning procedure. 6 times 40, put it in brackets because we're going to add the two totals up, plus 6 times 3. 6 times 40 is 240, and 6 times 3 is 18. That gives me 258, and I must remember to divide by 10 to give me my final answer which is 25.8. Alternatively, I can simply partition the decimal number. So this would give me, by partitioning, 6 times 4, in brackets, plus 6 times 0.3. 6 times 4 is 24, 6 times 0 0.3. I can either do that without changing uh, anything, or I can imagine that it's 6 times 3, which I know is 18, and then divide that by 10, and that makes 1.8. So 24 plus 1.8 equals 25.8. So both me methods of partitioning work very well to multiply small decimals.